We have an example scene here with a good use of a grabbable sequence. The scene contains a light switch to perform the grab on. A trigger box to activate the light when touched by the switch. We also have two ready animation sequences for the light going on and off. The scene has everything ready connecting the sequences and the sound with the triggers. But we will create the grabbable sequence that lets us move the switch downwards. First, we need to create the switch animation. Click on the switch object to rotate it, but notice that the rotational axis is incorrect so we have to change it. Head to the animation tab and move the timeline indicator to 50. Now we need to change the dragger location, press 4 on your keyboard. And notice the change in the dragger icon. Move the dragger to the near bottom of the switch object, where you need your rotational access to be. When settled with its location press 2 to get back to Object Transform. And rotate the object in the correct direction until it hits the trigger box. Now, select the two newly created keyframes and click on the Create Animation Sequence button. Rename it as you like and click OK. Back at Sequences tab, you can see your created sequence. To create the grabbable sequence, head to the Interactions menu and click on Make Grabbable Sequence. First select the object you want to grab, and click on the check button. Then select the sequence related, the one we created earlier. Lastly the scale factor is 1. Those simple steps created your required animation sequence. Let's check out how it works in the VR viewer.